Bay Action News Jax was there. City leaders discussed some new training that would help officers and detectives be better equipped to handle domestic abuse cases. As Action News Jax Cole Heath reports, the training would cost tens of thousands of dollars. City leaders met with JSO this morning here at City Hall, looking at the funding sources, especially a specific measure to help those in domestic violence cases. JSO Under Sheriff Pat Ivey and the City Council spoke about $65,000 designed to help provide more training for investigators handling domestic violence cases. The Under Sheriff tells me that training includes instruction on victims' rights and how to help victims, among other things. I've learned this funding is only part of the resources to help combat domestic violence. This is just one little piece of the puzzle that helps in the overall picture. So uh, I would say that uh, there's a lot more resources and funding that go towards that particular crime. This comes on the heels of the death of U.S. Navy Chief Petty Officer Andrea Washington yesterday. Action News Jax found court records for a temporary injunction of protection against domestic violence filed earlier this month and an order of dismissal because she wasn't in court filed the day she died. I asked JSO if an arrest warrant has been issued for the man listed in the court order, but a spokesperson did not answer the question, saying it was an active investigation. All new in Action News Jackson 5, JSO's response when I asked them if they feel enough is being done with this funding to help combat local domestic violence cases. Reporting downtown, Cole Heath, CBS 47 Action News Jacks.